Hello and welcome back to another video. I'm currently on vacation and as you can see I am in a very cluttered and cramped office but I'm committed to bringing you guys one last video before the end of the year so that you guys can have some projects to look forward to and potentially mint going into quarter one January of 2022. Now as always before I dive in if you're not already make sure to follow me on Twitter at blockchain Gavin like subscribe and turn on post notifications if you're finding any of this content helpful or valuable in any way as it would greatly help the channel and help you as well potentially finding new projects for you to mint to add to your collection. All right so let's just go ahead and dive in. So the first project I want to talk about really quickly because I already talked about this project is called Tron Wars. Now the reason I'm talking about this again is because this has grown quite significantly nearly double since my last video and uh, as you can see their engagement has gone up significantly from when I joined in when they were dropping their first sneak peeks to their newer ones you can see that they're getting a lot more engagement a lot more reactions so I just want to make sure that I put this one on your guys's radar again I'm not exactly positive but I am pretty sure they're going to be launching in January of 2022 there are still plenty of whitelist spots and it does look like these guys are going to potentially pop off people are really liking the art a lot of people have personally been asking me what I think about the project and if I'm in it and of course yes you know I'm already in the project and obviously it always comes down to mint day but so far it's looking like I would definitely mint this project so if you can make sure you're looking out for this project secure a whitelist spot if you can again there are still whitelist spots available and then again if you haven't already watched my last video the team is fully doxxed their graphic designer is Michael Weisheim and on their website in their bio it says he's an experienced designer who's worked in the entertainment industry for over 15 years he specializes in 3d character creation for the film and computer games industry he's worked for successful computer games such as Ubisoft and other major game companies so I know I've already gone over that but I just wanted to re-emphasize emphasize that again that the team is fully doxxed the team does have experience and it does seem like they're growing pretty fast I'll leave their Twitter and discord links in the bio but go ahead and make sure to pop on over to the Tron Wars on Twitter give them a follow turn on post notifications as you never know it could be the difference of you getting a whitelist spot or not okay so the next project I'm super excited for for quarter one January of 2022 is going to be Azuki Zen this is also a project I covered in a previous video but when I covered them they only had around 10 or 11,000 followers and only around nine or ten thousand in their discord and since then they've jumped to around 41,000 followers on twitter and 35,000 in their discord now if we go into their discord and we see their announcements and the reactions and the level engagement you can see that relative to the size of their discord their engagement is absolutely amazing and if we hop into their general chat again do keep in mind it is 3 25 a.m yes i am a complete degenerate we can see that day or night 3 a.m., 5 a.m., it doesn't matter. The chat is always popping. And what's amazing is this is not a level grinding project. People are just being active in here, you know, engaging with the community, obviously trying to get a whitelist spot, but also being real people and engaging with one another. So when I first created this video, I thought the project was cool and had potential, but I just wanted to reiterate on this project just due to the fact that how fast it's grown, popularity, and how the NFT community is getting super excited about this project. And then of course, the first time I previewed this video, they actually did not have their website up yet, but now they do. It looks absolutely amazing so i want to go ahead and show you guys their website all right so if we head over to azuki.com you can see it's super clean looks super good obviously their nfts are right on the front page so we can go ahead and click enter the garden so i don't want to take too much time going over the entire website you guys can definitely do that for yourself but i did want to briefly go over a little bit more details of the collection since i have that now that i didn't previously have and just show you guys a quick overview of the website because i think it is incredibly well done it's super professional and you can tell that the team behind this project knows what they're doing and if you didn't watch my previous video which I will leave here. This team is also another fully docs team. The artist behind this, Steamboy33, is actually a character art director for Play Overwatch, which is one of the largest MOBAs in the world by Blizzard. So previously we didn't know, but now we do. It's a collection of 10,000 avatars that is gonna give you membership access to the garden. So what is the garden? So according to them, the garden is exclusive streetwear collabs, NFT drops, live events, and much more that will be revealed over time. Now keep in mind, this is a pretty new project, so they're not trying to drop everything at once. They're definitely building the hype right. I love what they're doing and you can just tell how excited the community is when you go and hop in the general chat and just spend five or ten minutes uh, and see what people are talking about. So as always another thing I love is that their full team is docs right on the website. You can hover over them and it will take you straight to their Twitters which is great and then obviously there's some more that you can check out and the website will surely expand 
as they release more information to the community and what their long-term project goals are. But that is Azuki Zen. This is definitely one of the top projects I am excited for for January of 2022. Make sure to give them a follow on Twitter if you're not already. Turn on those post notifications and hop into their Discord as this is definitely a project that is going to be worth getting whitelisted in my opinion. Okay, so the third project I want to talk to you guys just in case it happens to not be on your radar is Invisible Friends. Now, I've personally been trying to get on Invisible Friends whitelist for the past two to three months, but I will say, although they do have a ton of members, if you get to level 10, which really only takes about five to six hours of chatting in their general chat, you have just as much of a chance of getting whitelisted as someone who's joined three, four, five, or six months ago currently because when you get to level 10, you get access to RNG games and quizzes, which gives you just as much of a chance as anyone else to get whitelisted on this project. So in my opinion, it's really not too late. There's still time to get whitelisted. Like I said, I've been in here for three months and I still don't have my whitelist spot, but of course I am gonna keep trying. This is gonna be a whitelist only project. You can see the reactions there. They're really great. The art is amazing. Let's go ahead and check out some of their art on their Twitter. So as you can see, they're walking gifts. Obviously they've got a ton of different character traits and outfits. And I just think these are really cool. And so does their community. I mean, they do have 128,000 followers on Twitter and the reactions, their engagement on Twitter is pretty great. And especially in their discord, I'm pretty sure they have a 60 second slow mode on. And even still with a 60 second slow mode on and at 3.33 AM, the chat is absolutely flying. So just to show you, yeah, every one minute, hello. YouTube. So you can see I'm not able to chat for a full minute and the chat is flying this fast. So again, you have just as much of a chance to get whitelisted on this project as pretty much anyone else at this point. So there's no reason not to try. It really only takes about five to six hours of getting to level 10, but I will warn you, do not spam because the mods, if you do happen to win, the mods and the admins will check your chat history. And if they see that you're just spamming and doing body behavior, not only will you not get your whitelist spot, but they will remove all of your EXP and you will start back at level one. But if you're not already in the server, again, I will leave the Twitter and Discord link in bio. Make sure to follow them on Twitter and hop in their Discord for a chance to get whitelisted on a potential blue chip project that is gonna be launching in January of 2022. All right, so the fourth project I wanna to talk to you guys about is gonna be Collider Craftworks. Now, this is a project that pretty recently just popped on my radar, I'd say maybe, I'd say about a week ago. It's still super early. They only have 3,000 followers on Twitter and about 7,000 in their Discord, so it's still super early. There's plenty of time to get whitelisted on this project, but I wanted to cover this project because it looked super promising with a lot of potential. Not only does the art work seem to be there following the 3d trend as we just saw in the past 48 hours primate planet that i made a video on currently has a 2.4 eth floor and over 5.5k volume traded in just 48 hours currently sitting at number one on OpenSea, which is absolutely insane and then on top of that obviously mtg which i meant it did very well as well so these 3d projects are the new trend in my opinion and they're absolutely killing it as well as other emerging trends such as metroverse which i've talked about which are land-based but i think 3d collections are really killing it and what is going to be the start of the q1 nft 2022 trend so what's really impressive about this project is not just their artwork or the roadmap, but specifically the team behind this. So before I go further into this project, I just wanna quickly go ahead and check out the team. So if we go on their website, cypher.collider.gg, and we scroll down and we click join us, it'll open a new tab showing us the team, and you can see that their team, which I always love, their team is completely and fully docs. They've got their full names, they've got their LinkedIn profiles, their art station, and you can just see how professional this team is. It says we are a super professional team of 84 of the world's most creative and technically gifted individuals, based in Buenos Aires, Argentina. And so if we scroll up, you can see something super impressive. It says, we're the new kids on the block. If you've ever played Mortal Kombat 10 or 11, Assassin's Creed or Injustice 2, then you've played with some of the characters we've developed. So I don't know about you guys, but I've played all of those games, especially Assassin's Creed. I love that game. And the fact that this team has been a part of games like that and more, and they're building these 3D collections, which, oh, by the way, there are gonna make games behind. This is some, this is actually some of their gameplay that they're gonna be working on developing makes me super bullish on this project, even though it's pretty new, they don't have a mass following right now. So make sure to check out this project, hop in their discord, follow them on, uh, wow, I'm not even following them on Twitter, okay. <laughs> Follow them on Twitter, turn on post notifications, hop in their Discord, as I know it's a bit early, but this is definitely a project that you should probably start trying to get whitelisted on as soon as possible. And you'll probably see me in the chats in there from time to time as I work on getting my own whitelist spot. Okay, now the fifth and final project for this video is gonna be, we're gonna make it interfaces. Now, maybe you have heard of them, maybe you haven't. They still haven't opened their Discord. All we really have for the moment is their Twitter, and we can go ahead and look at some of the art right here. 
And what's really cool about this project, or at least what a lot of people are really liking, as you can see, it says no roadmaps or promises, just vibes. And then if we head over to the website again, like I said, they don't have a discord yet. So we're all still very early in this project. Uh, all when you click discord, it says coming soon. So, so you just want to make sure that you're following these guys on Twitter and have their post notifications turned on this time. I am following them and I do have their post notifications turned on because the community is absolutely obsessed with these figures right now. And I think these are going to do incredibly well. So, so I want to make sure I have the best chance possible at securing a whitelist spot on this one. And again, yet another project that has a fully docs team, which we love on this channel. So that's going to be it for this video. Make sure to like subscribe and turn on post notifications. Follow me on Twitter at blockchain Gavin, and I hope you guys have a wonderful new year's. And if you're feeling anything like me, I'm super excited and super bullish for 2022, especially Q1. So I can't wait to see what January has in store for us. It's going to be great. There's going to be a lot more projects than just the ones I talked about, but at least for right now, you have some projects to look forward to and start getting whitelisted on going into quarter one, January of 2022. Thanks for watching. And I will catch you guys next year.